What's up, guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. Uh, subscriber, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Just ask a question on how to do curve text. Okay, so the only way I know how to do curve text on the basic program without purchasing the Pro is it's going to be a little bit different if you're wanting the text to actually like go around like in a straight line like right around here then unfortunately I don't know how to do it and I don't think you're able to do it on here and I think that's one of the reasons that they try to get you to purchase uh, the Pro but if somebody does know for some reason um, feel free to let me know but this is how I know how to curve the text okay so I'll just put BSTYE some weird funky stuff and then we'll put it here and C centers it E brings it to the middle C centers it and then I'll just bring it right down right there the only way I know how to do this is you have the image clicked you come over here to flag distort flag and then you grab this little node here is what they call that and you can bring it down like that to that point okay so that you can do that to kind of get an idea of what it looks like you can also bring down the top if you want like that if that makes sense and the only thing is do you see how it's kind of like I can't get it perfect to like wrap around the deal there unless the ball was like huge or something and maybe it would work but and I know that's looking really weird now but unfortunately I don't think there's a way to pull that in unless you make it look really weird so uh, let's look at what it would look like like what looked best I think like that would be something that would look best obviously that text is kinda whack but that would be the extent of what I know how to do um, and then you could put like something at the bottom as well whoa again to that weird ass text and then you can bring it centered oh my gosh you can always do backup and then you got to go back to the arrow centered and then we'll bring it up and then we'll shrink it because it's not going to fit on my page you can always make your page bigger I hope this information is helping you <laughs> um, and you can kind of do this a few ways I mean, realistically, like this one looks like it needs to be bigger now. I don't know. And then you can grab this one and kind of bring it up to it. So it'll look a little, I don't know, more universal. Looks like this ball needs to be a little bit bigger. That might be part of the problem. I'm just trying to show you what it what it would look like if it was possibly an actual logo something like that it could be like any number of things but that's kind of the only way I know you can't actually get it to physically wrap around for some reason but you could do a lot with that um, if you do find out a way just let me know please subscribe have a good day guys and if you have questions I'll do my best to answer um, yeah thanks for watching